Hi, Jacob Aldridge from Business Depot here. There's an old proverb that says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the second best time to plant a tree is today. And I think that's really applicable to understanding the valuation of your business. The best time to start thinking about how much your business is worth is the day you started the business. But if you haven't done that, the second best time to have that consideration in mind is today. Right now, wherever you are in your business journey, you want to have some idea of what that exit plan could look and feel like. At its simplest, if you were to sell the business intentionally or were the worst to happen and you had to sell the business in a hurry, how much would you want or need to sell that business for? There's some good considerations you need to factor in, including the actual process of selling your business and things like taxation. Selling a business in Australia, you as the business owner could end up with somewhere between 100% uh, of that revenue or having to pay the maximum personal tax rate on that return. Make sure if you're planning to sell your business at some point that your tax accountants, advisors are all working together and understanding how to make sure that that puts the most amount of money in your pocket. If you've watched a whole lot of the Blackboard Fridays videos that we've created, you'll know I talked in episode one and two about the best times to sell a business at the peak of scale up and during the sell up phase. If your business is heading into one of those, now is a great time to be having the conversation about exactly what the business is worth and how to get there. But regardless of where you are in the life cycle of your business, you need to be thinking about what the key steps are to take you from where you are now to that exit number that you want to create for you and for your family. It's never too early to have an exercise about understanding what the valuation drivers are in your business. Even if you don't want a full-blown valuation or a conversation about how exactly you might sell the business, understanding what those drivers are means that your strategy and your day-to-day -day activity within the business is creating that long-term wealth for you, not just the short-term profitability.